Yo, what's up? We're back. Today we're going to be talking about how to trade and how to read news. Um, so pretty much I'm going to go ahead and leave the link in the description below uh, for the news website that I use and I personally think is the best one. Uh, it's called forexfactory.com. Uh, once again, it's forexfactory.com. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how to navigate to it. So you guys can just look up Forex uh, Factory on Google, and it should pop up like this. You guys can just click on the first link here. Uh, from here, it'll bring up a list of uh, economic news uh, per countries. So you guys are going to see GBP, Euro for European, um, NZD, JPY, AUD for Australian, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Uh, CHF for China, and CAD for um, Canada. So you guys can actually filter these. Um, so if you guys want to actually only see U.S. news, for example, you can actually click on filter um, and actually click none here. And then you can go ahead and click on USD as well. And then you can click apply filter. And then this way you're only going to see U.S. news. Um, same thing if you guys trade Forex or whatever. Um, you guys can turn on your uh, currency pair as well as the U.S. news to see whatever news is going to go on. So if you play USD, uh, JPY, then uh, turn that on. Or if you play uh, GPP, JPY. And turn both of these on example for like something like that or euro usd for example uh turn on euro and usd um ideally you want uh just to be able to see everything just because certain events um might pop up differently i think there's a couple of speeches that don't pop up properly so if you turn off the event types so don't turn these off just leave them all default leave the expected impact default it's not that big of a deal um so yeah so i'm going to explain to you guys what these news events are so we have this 945, the flash manufactured PMI. So I'm just going to keep it short and simple. Honestly, there's no point to keep it technical um, or get too technical. My example, my fault. Um, but the 945 news, those are pretty much just very small and minor, like um, very small and minor, just level retest, honestly. I'll just call them for like that. So pretty much um, I'll show you here. So today at 945, news is going to come out. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you guys on uh, QQQ here or NQ so I have some levels drawn here just was just playing around but today at 945 um, we are going to have a my apologies we're gonna have a news test so around here so around one here comes around uh, the probably is gonna be a retest back here down to these lows just because that's how news works and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a good example of that in the past as well so here we have I'm gonna go ahead and find some 830 news on Monday right so let's go to 830 on the 15th this is trading view for all of you who don't know so 830 on the 15th boom as you guys can see, as soon as the news came out, um, we had a, a bit of selling down to the downside because news triggered that, I guess, um, it wanted to be bearish due to the fact that the news came out uh, negative here. So that that is what news is going to do. Sometimes it's going to have big reactions in the market, but sometimes it's just going to give very obvious level retest. Um, so yeah, the 945 news and the 10 o'clock news, they're not too, too impactful, but you guys are just going to have some... Uh, quick price action so make sure that you guys are in a decent trade from a excuse me a decent level before the news comes out because you like you guys see here um, I'll scale down even smaller here just so you guys can see it exactly if I can um, just so you guys can see it even smaller here as soon as the news came out here we guys had a big spike down here so for instance if you were in this trade um, you know it's just, you know, price action had a big selling to the downside, bringing it all the way down. And instead of it bouncing here, we had uh, even more selling and just large dumping. So the price action uh, gave it the spike to let it know that the selling could continue off of. So make sure that you guys aren't in a trade that you're not comfortable with if you don't want to um, get chopped up by news. So next thing, let's go ahead and talk about CPI. So once again, the 10 o'clock and 945 news aren't too big of a deal. But there are some big newses that do happen uh, once a month for uh, every single month. Now, these big ones are called CPI 
and PPR. And let me go ahead and go ahead and scroll down here. Okay, boom. So yeah, so what this measures is the change in the price of goods and services purchased by consumers. This is one of the big ones we guys need to focus on. You guys need to watch out for CPI and PPI days. A lot of people get chopped up and destroyed trying to trade on CPI and PPI days while markets in retracement. Pretty much just to keep it short and simple, all this is is just market forcing itself uh, to key levels. So yeah, CPI days are definitely something you need to watch out for. You need to be well informed of. Um, so if you're in a swing trade, you need to know to close maybe prior CPIs just so you don't get dumped on. Um, so yeah, because you don't want to be gambling. So definitely make sure that you're closing trades before CPI comes out. And ideally, it's really a great time to trade after CPI comes out. Because what usually happens, and this is usually, is the market just goes into a big retracement after CPI comes out and it forces it down to key levels uh, such as monthly and weekly lows like I've taught you guys in the past videos. And if you guys want to learn more about that, get with me for the link in the description for mentorship as well. Or you can just take my signals as well. You can subscribe in Discord. But um, I'll show you guys live here while what CPI does. So we had CPI March 12th here. Comes out at 8.30. So let me go ahead and show you guys here. So let me get on a bigger time frame. So it's going to be March 12th at 8.30. Okay. Cool. All right, we have March 12th. And our eight here. Okay. So as you guys can see, we have this big, giant wick here. This is the candle here. Um, so this candle, this is the type of CPI candles you could be in, um, as you guys can see. So if you got in from this low, you know, you thought you were just winning, um, you were going to hit TP, boom, just giant wick down. So that's the type of stuff that CPI can do is really just, um, just it's just going to be one giant wick, to be honest, um, really fast. So it's, it can bounce most of the time, but after that, market's going to continue to flow in a certain direction after that. So after that bounce, as you can see, we saw we were bullish for about the rest of the day. And then market had a retracement a bit later. And uh, as you guys can see, even all the way back here, these levels are uh, pretty accurate, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, lots of confluence, lots of one hour bounces here. So you guys can play these if you're on futures. Um, but yeah, it really just depends, it's on you. Okay, so yeah, that's CPI. We have PPI as well. PPI is uh, kind of like the CPI's counterpart. It's not too, 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 too different. Um, but it's smaller, much smaller price action. It's not too, too, too much of a reaction. CPI can literally shift the entire market in one wick, um, depending on the size of it or the reaction. So it really just depends, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so PPI is the same thing. Let me go ahead and show you guys this reaction here. So we have PPI on, uh, we'll show you April 11th. So it should be April 11th at 8.30, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So let's do April 11th at 8.30. As you guys can see here, so this came out and uh, we actually had this very strong bullish candle. Let me get on the 15 minute just to show you guys a bit clearer. Boom, we had this extremely strong 15 minute candle, it's crazy. Uh, so yeah, this is the type of candle that comes out when CPI comes out guys. So. <clears throat> Yeah, this big just Hulk candle, just yee, yee, just boom. So yeah, this is a crazy, 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 crazy candle. And as you guys can see, we're just absolutely just bullish, just breaking through all types of levels for the rest of the day. So yeah, that's the type of stuff that CPI can do, guys. So some CPIs aren't as big as others, but some are definitely huge and significant. So make sure you're watching out for that. Um, next thing, guys, I'm sure you guys all know about this. We have Jay Powell speeches, guys. Jay Powell speeches. They're not as legendary as they used to be. If y'all know, y'all know back in the day, man. Jay Powell, that one Jay Powell speech, I think maybe 2022 or 2021, that absolutely just dumped the market for us. Just, it was crazy. But, um, yeah. Um, I'm sure he watches his tongue a little bit more now. But you guys definitely want to watch out for when uh, Jay Powell is speaking. It'll say Fed Chair Powell is, uh, Fed Chair Powell is speaking or um, Jerome Powell is speaking. Um, so yeah, and you guys are gonna see some revived um, UOM consumer sentiment, consumer sentiment, 
um, and the pending home sales, 10 o'clock news once again. Those are just going to give some small, like, lower time frame retest. I wouldn't worry about those too much, honestly. Um, people might say, don't trade during news. It really just depends what news, to be honest. You don't want to be trading during CPI, during j Powell speeches for the most part, um, or NFP. So those, when those come out, you don't really want to be trading. Um, so there's also other news as well for natural gas at 10.30 um, for oil. News comes out as well, and you guys are going to see just some bullish price action on that. And yeah, so I'll show you guys some oil news that comes out here. So we have some oil news uh, March 27th, usually comes out at 1030. Or March 27th, 1030. And yeah, so usually you guys will see some uh, slight price reaction uh, there. Normally it's a little bonky. I would personally stay away from oil. Don't be trading this. Just because there's so much like economic news and stuff like that, just stay away from this, man. I wouldn't be trading this personally. Stay away. All right. And uh, we do have natural gas news as well, kind of the same thing. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you guys some of that too. So, natural gas, we had news April 4th. Uh, so, I'm going to go NG. We had April 4th, 10.30. Show you guys some price action. As you guys can see, we started having huge selling after the news came out. So news can really just like trigger some like crazy price action. So yeah. <coughs> yeah. So yeah, make sure you guys are worried about that. Um, my next video will probably be about earnings. So yeah, that's how to read news. Uh, get on forexfactory.com. It's the easiest news website. There's a bunch of other news websites too, but Forex Factory just really details it very, 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 very easily. 10 o'clock news, 945 news, small retest, CPI. NFP, Jerome Powell speeches, try to stay away from that and maybe close your trades before those come out. Uh, crude oil and natural gas trades uh, have news at 1030, usually every Wednesday for crude oil and Thursday for natural gas every week. Um, there's going to be FOMC statements um, at 2 p.m. sometimes around like once or twice a month. Watch out for those because those can trigger a bunch of big price action if you're already in a trade, especially my swing traders. Make sure you're watching news. Um, you guys can check out all country news if you're a forex trader, and I hope it helps. If you want to get with me for mentorship, link in description below. Join my Discord for signals. Let's get profitable. Inshallah. God wills. Peace. If this video has helped you, but you're still in need of further guidance, make sure you join the Stack Mode Trading Discord using the link in description below. Here, you'll have access to speak with me personally, as well as you'll gain access to the Stack Mode Trading signals. These signals are usable for stock options, futures, and cryptocurrency, so everyone is welcome to join. Here, you'll also find the link for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, where we'll discuss on how to get the best entries, we'll chat about strategy and risk management, and get your discipline and technicals in place. If you guys are ready to change your lives and become profitable traders, then inshallah, sign up with me, and let's do it.